So 2023 was was a really busy year. It was uh, a pretty successful year too, especially considering it was our, our first year in office. So a lot of the work that we did was focused around homelessness and we trying to make LA more affordable. So working with the mayor's office in Lhasa, as a city, we were able to bring in more than 21,000 people off the streets. So that's the number one priority is, is bringing more beds online. In our district, Council District 5, we're the only district in the city that doesn't have any general population adult interim beds, which means that if you're between the ages of 18 and 55 and you don't have any children and you're not a veteran, we don't have any beds for you at all in the district. So we were successful in getting approved uh, our first interim general population adult site. Uh, it'll be 33 beds. It's a drop in the bucket, but it's a really important start. And over time, it'll bring hundreds of people in off the street. We also worked to codify Executive Directive 1, which was the mayor's effort to streamline the permitting of affordable housing projects. So that's exciting. It'll make it much easier for affordable housing providers to bring those beds online quicker and more cost effectively. I'm also a member of the Metro Board, and so we're really focused on improving the customer experience for Metro riders and increasing ridership, making sure people are and feel safe when they're on the system. So for 2024, we're going to be focused on constituent services, making sure that we're finding excellent, responsive constituent services. Uh, we're going to be opening a new field office that we're really excited about. It's going to have a lot more community gathering space, so we're going to really activate that and get our constituents involved more in understanding what we do and, and having more back and forth out in our own district, which is really exciting. On the policy front, we're going to be focused on bringing those beds online as quickly as possible and then continued work around DWP climate work, um, shutting down oil and gas wells in the district and then across the city faster than the 20 year timeline that the city's already adopted. So we're looking at all the different ways we can make our communities more livable. So Angelinos deserve a city that's responsive, that works where people feel safe uh, in their homes, in their neighborhoods. Uh, it shouldn't be so hard to live here and it feels hard right now in large part because of the overwhelming homeless crisis, the quality of life issues for house folks that result from that. So I've asked my field team to really think about what each of the communities wants, needs. So we're gonna be doing street cleanups, neighborhood cleanups. We're gonna be doing movies in the park. I wanna come up with a pothole in the alleyway program where we're out filling potholes in alleyways. So there's gonna be a bunch of stuff where we're, we're out and engaged in the community. and. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to being in the district more. This first year, I haven't been able to do that as much as I'd like, and so looking forward to much more of that in the coming year.